Chapter 19 How the Elephant Got Its Trunk Long, long ago, the elephant had no trunk. He only had a black, bulging nose that was as big as a boot. There was one curious little elephant. He would always ask his family many, many questions. All of them would get angry and smack him hard. One morning he asked, What does the crocodile have for dinner? Everyone hushed him and smacked him for a long time. But he still wanted to know what the crocodile had for dinner. So Kolo Kolo bird took pity on him. He said, Go to the banks of the Limpopo River and find out. The little elephant travelled through strange lands till he reached Limpopo River. He saw a snake resting on a rock. He asked him about the crocodile's dinner. But the snake too smacked him with his tail. So the little elephant walked on. Suddenly he stepped on a log. The log was really a crocodile. He opened an eye and winked at the little elephant. Excuse me, have you seen a crocodile? asked the little elephant most politely. Come here, little one, said the crocodile. I am the crocodile. Then the little elephant kneeled down on the bank happily and said, I am so glad to meet you. Will you please tell me what you have for dinner? Come here, little one, said the crocodile. And I'll whisper in your ears. As soon as the little elephant put his head close to the crocodile's mouth, the crocodile caught him by his black, bulging nose. I think, said the crocodile, pulling the nose. Today, I will eat the little elephant for dinner. The little elephant did not like the idea at all. So he sat down and pulled and pulled till his nose began to stretch. Seeing this, the crocodile began tugging harder. The little elephant's nose stretched and stretched and was soon five feet long. When the little elephant started slipping, the snake came to help him. So he pulled and the little elephant pulled and the crocodile pulled. But the snake and the little elephant were stronger. The crocodile got tired and let go of the nose. The little elephant then waited for his nose to become small again. But the nose never changed back. However, his new nose was very useful. When a bee stung on his shoulder, he lifted up his trunk and hit it dead with the end of it. When he was hungry, the little elephant picked some bananas from a high tree with his trunk and ate them. Then he picked up some mud and put it on top of his head to keep him cool. Happy with his new nose, he went back home. His family was surprised to see his trunk. He told them that it was a gift from the crocodile who lived on the banks of the Limpopo River. It looks ugly, they said. The little elephant was annoyed, so he smacked all of them with his new trunk. Soon all the elephants understood that the trunk was very useful. They hurried off to the banks of the Limpopo River to borrow new noses from the crocodile. Ever since all elephants have long trunks, like that of the curious little elephant,